Hey, for once, it's cloudy. It's a chance of meatballs. <laughs> Pop reference from 2017. What's up guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Got another custom e-bike build for you. This one is a specialized aerial. I'm gonna go over to what we did to it, what makes this thing sweet, and do some performance tests on this thing. Climbing hills, doing top speed tests, all that type of stuff. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I convert bicycles into e-bikes. If you wanna see other e-bikes and other Nerdout tests and other things related to e-bikes, check out my other videos, check out other playlists. I categorize them. So if you like a specific thing that I do, check that out. Maybe you don't care for other stuff I do. A lot of people don't seem to care for a lot of stuff I do, so. But you know what? I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna let my freak flag fly. I was born this way, I'm on the right track, baby. Born this way. All right, so this is a specialized aerial. This is a great example of taking an older good bike and converting it into an awesome e-bike. Way better than something you could buy for you know the similar price what they spent on this to get this converted. Way better than what you could buy a pre-made bike for spec wise. So this is a nice, this is like a hybrid bike. It's a commuter bike, slight trail bike, maybe considered a gravel bike. It's one of those, it's, it's got the skinnier tire, 700C tires, but it's got a suspension front fork. So it really smooths out a lot of imperfections. It's got a lockout on it too, which is nice. So without my labor, this build would be about 1100 bucks, something like that. And that includes adding a stem riser here. So we, we upped this, Handlebars up a little bit, about, I don't know, three inches or so. So it's gonna be a little bit more comfortable. You don't have to buy a bike that's already upright. You could customize, you could buy stem risers. This is the Delta stem riser. This brings it up just a little bit, just so you're up a little bit. So you're not hunched down, you're up a little bit. You could get ones that go up a lot more. You could get adjustable stems. The sky's the limit of how you wanna do. You could get stems that have suspensions in it. So if you have a rigid front fork, you could buy one that has a spring in there that just protects your wrists. This one's got mechanical, back to the bike. This one's got mechanical disc brakes, Shimano eight speed with Altis derailleur. Um, we added a kickstand to it. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, this is, it's a specialized. You can't go wrong with specialized. They, they don't make crappy bikes. So this would be a great one. If you could find one of these used somewhere, buy one like this and then just convert it. And what we did to convert it, we've used a BBS 02. It's a 750 watt mid-drive motor. We went with a 52 volt, 16.75 amp hour battery. So this thing on these skinny tires is probably gonna give you a 60 mile range, depending on how you ride it. If you're riding it full throttle, you're gonna get probably 30 miles an hour. If you're riding it more for exercise, you're probably gonna get 70, 80 miles. Just really depends on how much you're, how heavy footed you are on that gas by the, the electrical gas the neutron gas. All right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test on this. That's where we test out hill climbing from a standstill, the base of a hill with a rolling start, and we check top speed all without me pedaling. Okay, so you can see 36 miles an hour is this thing hauls, this thing boogies with these skinny tires. And it made it up that hill no problem from a dead standstill. And obviously with a running start, no problem at all. This is a great bike. Um, oh, we also added a mirror to it. I almost forgot. We got a mirror, it came with a bell. Now it just needs a light, but I think they said they have a light that they're gonna put on it. Uh, I would put a rack on it as well. Set this baby up for the ultimate commuter bike. And it's a comfort commuter. They got a big cushy seat on here too. This thing, it's very comfortable and it's upright. So this is a good way to turn a somewhat aggressive bike into a comfortable bike. For the display, we went with a 500C color display. Really like this display. This is my favorite display if you don't need a USB out to charge your phone and things like that. And then next to that is the throttle that you could just throttle if you don't feel like pedaling. All right, thanks a lot guys. What are you doing? Is it because it's windy? No, well I think she thinks you're out here talking to somebody. Talking to this bike, talking to the world. You got anything you want to say to the world? <laughs>